And let's take a look at this problem here. You are dealt five cards from a standard shuffle deck. What is the probability that your hand will contain three of a kind? And let's just make a slight change here. Let's say that we want exactly three of a kind. So we're interested in cases where you have, you know, ten of hearts, ten of clubs, ten of diamonds, but we're not interested in cases where you've got all four of the tens in your hand. Let's start first with our sample space. What is our sample space in this question? 52 choose 5. We want all of the possible five card hands here. So the number of elements in our sample space is going to be the 52 cards. We choose five of them. What is our event here? Well, our event is going to be a hand that has three of a kind here. So I'm going to say let E be um, event um, where three cards are the same. And I'll say same number because they're not exactly the same card. But then if I say number, I mean that you get what I mean by number, right? Because that includes king, queen, ace, and things like that. I think the way to think of this question is to take this event, three cards of the same, and think about all of the possibilities for having three cards of the same. Okay? You could have, you could break this event into a number of smaller events. You could have an event that you called EA for event ACES. And this could be the event where, event where you have three ACES in your hand. So let's just look at that event first. How many ways can you get three aces into your hand? Well, okay. Four choose three. Now what does that four choose three represent, Kale? Four aces we're choosing three of them. Yeah. We've got four aces, we're choosing three of them. Is this enough? Is this does this give us a complete hand? Mm -hmm. Kenzie, you're shaking you're shaking your head here. Yeah. What what do we need to add to bring up for the rest of our hand? We need two more cards. So we need to choose two more cards. And what are the possibilities for choosing those two more cards? Fifty two less four, which is forty eight. Okay? We don't want to choose one of these four aces, so we have 48 possibilities for those other cards in our hand. Okay. So I'm just going to add that little note in here. We want to have three of four aces, okay, and then we want two other cards that are not aces. Okay. So that's one possibility for getting three cards the same. Um, we could think of another sort of sub-event here where we have, I'll call this EK, where we have, this is the event where we have three kings in our hand. Okay. What's going to be the number of ways that we can get three kings in our hand? What do we think here? How many ways can we get three kings? What do you think, Cheyenne? Sorry? Four choose three? Absolutely. Because we still want to, we've got four possible kings, we want to pick three of them. And then how do we make up the rest of the cards in our hand? Yeah, 48 choose two. So it's going to be exactly the same. So if we go back to our, to call it the main event here, sorry, EE, -E, event E, where it's all of the possible ways that we can have um, three cards that are the same, 
it's going to be made up of a group of sub-events, all of which we can make up by doing 4 choose 3, choose the 3 cards that are the same, and 48 choose 2, choosing the other 2 cards in our hand. Now, how many possibilities are there for these three cards that can be exactly the same. Well, we've got ace, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Not eleven, twelve. We get to ten, we go jack, queen, king. That's what? Thirteen possibilities. So there are thirteen ways that we can do this four choose three and forty eight choose two. So I'll just make a note here that there are fourteen sort of different numbers. Well, now we can calculate our probability. Okay. Our probability of event E is going to be this 13 times 4 choose 3, 48 choose 2, divided by 52 choose 5, okay, which was the number of things in our sample space. And we can work this out. And we get some really big numbers here. We get um, 58,656 in the numerator. Down in the denominator, we get 2,598,960. Okay. So if you don't want to do those intermediate steps, you don't really have to. If we work all of this out, we get about... 2.3%. So if you're dealing out five cards from a well-shuffled deck, there's about a 2.3% chance that you are going to get three cards that are the same.